Oh, hello there. I didn't see you there. I, uh... Cash for the merchandise. Cash for the button hooks. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> I do, I do like, uh, still being alive. <laughs> Coffee, I'm your coffee guy. No! They go rushing into the castle with pitchforks and stuff like, hey, give us back our woman who can read. And they uh, are just really, everybody's getting into Beauty's life. Uh, she's finally happy here. And then all the appliances are like, we're gonna murder. We're gonna murder these people. You can't see my feet, but I'm tapping. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, wow, 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 that's wow. some tap. Actually, you know what? Books are cool. Uh, With a book, you can go on an adventure anytime. <laughs> okay. 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 Long story short, on the third day you audition again. It's really important to know I had I had braces. Uh, I was a virgin. Oh. I was extremely nervous, and I felt like I was like I was surrounded by like people who looked and sounded like movie stars, like like a, a, an actress who won a Tony for the musical Ghost was there, and so then I was there, and I was like, and so at at the interview. Uh, after my audition, they were like, okay, do you have any other questions? And I did say this, I was like, I have one question and it's this. I know I'm ready for grad school, but is grad school ready for me? I'll take the wheel again. No, I'm gonna watch. I wanna watch you flounder and fail. Moana, make way, make way. Consider the coconut, consider it's tree. Uh, if ever there were a grain of sand that fell into the sea, if ever there were a star above or blossom in a tree, if ever there were a crimson rose that bloomed in love's full bliss, I know that ours will ever bloom and long will be our kiss. If ever there were a mountain top that yearned to scrape the sky, if ever there were a fond embrace or twinkle in your eye, if ever there were uh, angel's touch that graced the earth in hue, if ever there were a truer love, there is forever you. A couple of years ago, my daughter, she was eight at the time, she came up to me and she said, Daddy, a lot of the girls at school are really mean to me. What do I do? I got down on one knee, I put my hand on her shoulder, and I said, Shut up, Tiffany. Shut up. Come on! Let me puke in your mouth and just open your First rule of improv is smile. Because that way you trick your brain into thinking you're having fun. I've never been happy. Wouldn't that be nice? Is this the secret? Singing and dancing through life is my integrity worth anything at all? But happiness can't come before it's fall. Am I crazy? Maybe I've always been become what I've hated. Or maybe I never did. It's so freeing now to share the hate I felt. But what will I let in if I let it out? Love never dies. And that is the problem with the whole show because the hero of the show is none other than the Grim Reaper. And he has just had it with life, you know? He hasn't ever experienced real love because who loves death? Except Thanos, spoilers. Uh, death is just, he wants to get out there and he, his, his best friend, Jim, is like 
death. You gotta get back out there, man. You gotta meet people. He sings, and then Jim sings a song about it. Get on out there, little death. You need to get there and meet some friends. And then he's like, oh, fine, fine, we're gonna go out in the town. And uh, everyone can see death. They're not freaked out at all. And uh, death is like, um, wait, I don't think I've seen New York like this before. And uh, then all of a sudden, midnight in Times Square, Jeff bumps into this guy. And he's like, who is this? All I do is I see people and I suck their soul out of their bodies, but I've never seen, I've never seen an, another soul like mine. And then they, and actually that's, I'm doing so good at this. That's the name of the song they sing, Another Soul Like Mine. Another soul like mine, and blah, blah, blah. and then um, he's pulled away by his mom who's there, and he's like, come on, Travis, we're going, we can't miss our show. And then Death's like, no, 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 wait. So Jim is like, Death, we gotta find this guy. A little bit creepy, but you know what? Death might have experienced love for the first time. Skip ahead a little. Travis, they, they meet again in un unexpected circumstances, uh, and they, you find out that Travis is actually another sort of wandering spirit. He's uh, uh, a, a ghost sort of possessing this human. Travis, in order for Travis, uh, the Travis's like little spirit to be with death, Travis has to die. But death can't kill anyone unless their uh, card is about to be punched. It's against the rules. So uh, he has to die normally. And guess what? Travis is going to live a really long life. <sighs> and so that's... Death has to say goodbye to him for 65 years. And then, um, at the very end, Death greets Travis in his hospital bed, and he's like, Baby, it's good to see you again. <laughs>